How's it going everyone? My name is Gabe and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your very own custom chess user interface for your Minecraft realm or world. I posted a poll out and a lot of you guys really want this tutorial to be out. So I am making this tutorial the day before it's supposed to be out. And that's because I already had this video created and made, but because of the new 1.21 update, a lot of stuff got bugged in Minecraft. And one of those bugs is that if you open a clone chest in your Minecraft Realm or World, it automatically closes out of it, and it never did that before. So here I am making the same video, but on a new update, 1.24.1. So anyways, if this video does help you guys out, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And before I forget, I have a Discord server where you can come hang out, count numbers, show pictures of your pet, or grow a tree. And also, if you need help with command blocks there is a minecraft channel for you but anyways let's get right into the video let me show you guys what i'm trying to make so as you can see behind this chest there is a green yellow and red platform and you might be like gabe what is that and why is there so many command blocks and blah 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 look it's gonna be simple trust me just watch this video anyway so behind me in this chest uh you're gonna see it says spawn mines and it closed because that's part of the new update but anyways spawn mines and pvp are in this chest so you might notice that they are color coordinated so if i grab this spawn i could click it it'll teleport me to spawn make a sound effect like that and it'll say welcome to spawn and the sound effects might sound really wonky because my obs does not know how to capture sound properly for some reason so i'm sorry about that if it sounds glitched but yeah it teleports me to the spawn area it gives me a message and it makes a sound effect now let me do that for this mines teleport me to mines it says welcome to the mine and it makes a sound effect and the last one for pvp you click the pvp sword you grab it and it says welcome to bvp you are now teleported here and you get a sound effect as well and if you notice i am not able to like grab the item and put it in my inventory and if i do it just goes away because it teleports me but yeah that is what i'm going to be showing you guys how to make in your minecraft realm or world so let's get right into the video the first thing you want to do is you want to make a little pedestal for your chest there won't be a chest here so just make a little like area for your chest kind of like this just make a little area for your chest and boom you could just leave it empty like that once you have that area made you're going to want to give yourself a command block so do slash give your name command underscore block and you'll receive one in your inventory like this you're gonna also want to grab a chest and you also want to go in to grab an anvil like this boom all these three items the next step is you're gonna want to place a command block like this and make sure the arrow is facing up like this or else it will not work and when you have your command block placed like that just place a chest on top of the command block and you should be all set now when you have this done you're going to want to change the command block setting so make it a repeat unconditional always active and the delay in ticks is 120. now the reason why it's 120 and it's not zero like normal it's because of the new 1.21 update where it broke the whole cloning thing so now the chest will clone every five seconds but anyways once you have all this your command is gonna be slash clone tilde tilde one tilde 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 one tilde and the last three numbers are going to be where you want your chest to be spawned so for me it's 125 76 and 34 and those coordinates are where this chest is exactly and again it will be different on your world or realm because we don't have the same coordinates the next thing you want to do is find the items you want to put in the chest so because i already have a pvp teleporter a mine teleporter and a spawn teleporter i'm gonna do one for a shop and with the shop i'm gonna use a gold ingot so what i'm gonna do is do slash give my name gold underscore ingot and this is important after this put the number one because you only want one of them and then after the one it's going to be the id or the data input for that item and you can put any number one through a hundred but i'm gonna do five so i'll hit enter and i'll receive one in my inventory and the reason why you want an id number after your ingot is because people can just rename the item and teleport by themselves and you don't want them to do that so with the item you have you're going to want to use the anvil to rename it so i'm going to rename this uh so i'm going to rename this shop and i'm going to use this sauce symbol to change color so sauce b sauce l and i'm gonna put shop just like that and then you should now have your item made once you have your item renamed you can open the chest and there'll be nothing in here for you but for me there's already stuff and i'm gonna put the shop on the right side of the screen right here the right side of the chest and you can put your item wherever you want but mine's on the right side and if i go to this chest you can see that it is now cloned and is now on the right side also when you open the chest you can actually grab the item and you don't want people to grab the item and keep it in the inventory like i have right now and to fix that you're going to use command blocks so what you want to do first is you want to place four command blocks like this so one oh my bad 
one, two, three, four, and make sure they're all facing the same way or it will not work. And honestly, the last two command blocks in this command block section are optional. I just have them so you could add a little pizzazz to your teleporters. But this first command block is going to be a repeat, unconditional, always active, and the delay in ticks is going to be 20. And the command input is going to be slash clear, at p and this is going to be the item that you chose so mine is golden underscore ingots and after the gold ingot you want to put the id number you chose so mine was five and then one meaning it's going to take away the gold ingot with an id of five and just take away one of them and that is the first command block it's pretty simple the second command block is going to be a chain conditional always active and this is going to be slash tp at p and then after that is going to be the coordinates of where you want them to be teleported and i'm going to make another section right here it's going to be the light blue so i'm going to put this right here and this is going to be the shop teleporter so the coordinates for this one are 122 75 and 41 122 75 and 41 and yours will be different remember yours will be different coordinates and then that second command block is done the third command block is going to be a chain conditional always active and this command is slash title at p action bar and after this action bar you can put whatever you want so i'm gonna do sauce b sauce l and i'll have it say welcome to the shop and that's all it is pretty much and this last command block is going to be a chain conditional always active and the delay in text for this one is going to be 10 which is half a second and the command input is slash play sound and after this play sound you could choose whatever sound effect you want and there'll be a link in the description to show you guys all the different sound effects but i'm gonna choose the one called firework dot twinkle and then you want to do at p and then you want to go find the coordinates for the little location that you made for the people to spawn in so mine is 122 75 and 41 122 75 and 41 and now we should play a sound effect every time someone teleports to that location and if you want to know the first command block is pretty much checking if the person has the gold ingot from the chest and if it does it's going to run the second command to teleport them to the next location which is right there and this third command is going to just give them the action bar saying welcome to the shop and the last one is going to play the sound effect when they reach that area so that's what these commands actually do and because we have all the commands completed, that means that that shop should be completed. So let's test it out. Open the chest, grab the ingot, welcome to the shop, and it made the sound effect of the fireworks. So that means we did it successfully, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video did help you guys out, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This was a last minute video for me to make, again, because of the new 1.21 update that kind of messed up everything. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing the past year and a half I've been making videos on this channel. I'm currently working on a 100 day series and I'm on day like 50. And I really hope you guys will enjoy it when it comes out. But before I go, YouTube is recommending this video to you guys from my page. And I would highly suggest you guys go check it out because you guys might like that video more than this one you're watching right now. But anyways, my name is Gabe and I'm out. Peace. So the video ended, but you're still here watching. Why? Tell me why. Why are you watching? It's the end of the video. Click off. But subscribe.